the controllers of this planet are preparing to launch their final takeover of planet Earth. We are about to experience a journey into the unknown. So let's talk about how we can get through whatever is coming next. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean. My goal is to help you most effectively navigate the chaos on this planet so that you can stay on your path of ascension. Now, before I share with you everything I want to share today, I want to let you know that I am promoting the use of this quantum frequency device because I think it is a powerful and extremely effective way to accelerate our evolution going forward that is a tremendous help with all of the chaotic negative energies that we are surrounded by more and more every single day. And what this device does is it works with your entire being, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, at the level of frequency. Because it functions from the quantum field, it is not limited to linear time and space as we know it. Because what it does is it helps to unravel all of the frequencies that are keeping us stuck. Because, um, you know, when you acquire a lot of different energies and frequencies throughout the course of your life, it affects your entire system, um, physical, mental, and emotional systems. It affects them all together holistically. We end up holding on to those frequencies, onto that energy, and then we identify with those frequencies as being us. In other words, what I'm feeling, what I've been carrying all my life, this is me, this is who I am. But then when you try to go forward in your life, when you try to make empowering changes in your life, it can be very, very slow and very difficult because at the same time you're trying to make these changes, you're still holding on unconsciously to all of this old energy that you've been carrying around and identifying yourself with for your entire life. So because this device operates at a quantum level through the use of frequency, it can read your blueprint in the quantum field, which is the blueprint of the most perfect you, how you were originally designed as a human creator. And then it can read your entire bioenergetic field on all levels here in your physical incarnation and help to unwind those frequencies and energies that you've acquired all your life that are not a match to who you really are. Thus, opening doors and paving the way for you to much more easily make the changes that you want to make in your life. That's all I'm gonna say about that for right now. If you want to learn more, I will put a link in the description, but I highly recommend and promote the use of this device especially now with everything that's going on in the world. Okay, so let's get on with today's video. Is this world getting crazy or what? I mean, the chaos, the way these controllers are trying to shut us down everywhere we turn is really quite amazing, isn't it? And it's not like this is a surprise. I mean, we knew this was coming. It's just such a weird experience when you actually start to witness it beginning to unfold in the physical world. But it's clear that these crazies are serious. They really are serious about taking over the planet. Now, whether or not they succeed is another question. But here's the point that we need to be thinking about. In the process of trying, they are very willing to do a lot of damage. Now, I know it's kind of weird because we might look at them and say, well, hey, you guys, this makes no sense because if you wreck the planet, you're also wrecking the thing that you claim you want to control. Why would you do that? Well, there are a whole lot of reasons. I won't go all into all of them today, but let's just keep it really simple. They have no interest in the way things have been. They have no interest in who we are as human creators. 
they have basically no interest in anything that's beautiful and wonderful and full of light and power and creative energy. That, that's just not their thing because they are very dark and darkness does not enjoy the presence of light. So that is an overly simplified version of what is going on. And um, as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I have gone into extensive detail about everything happening. I'm not gonna do that today. Um, today I wanna talk about more about how we can prepare ourselves and get through this fully intact as the cosmic creators that we really are. Now, I think the current plan of these controllers is really kind of stupidly simple. I think they intend to keep us in a state of immense crisis, immense imbalance, a lot of chaos to really finish us off so they think, which will not happen, obviously, but they want to finish this off so they can finally um, establish their new artificial kingdom here on planet Earth. Now, it's not like they just blew in here and decided to blow everything up uh, overnight. As you probably know, they have been setting this up for many, many years. And the last four years has been really where they put in the structure, a lot of manipulation of our minds collectively has gone on and continues to go on. And um, yeah, so I think the road ahead looks just like a whole lot of chaos. So here's what, here's what I suggest we do at this point. Let's use some analogies in nature. Imagine if you see a hurricane coming your way. Imagine a tree that is in the path of that hurricane or trees. The trees that have the deepest, most well-established roots into the earth are probably going to be able to weather that storm. On the other hand, the trees that have very shallow roots that are not well-established are very likely to be destroyed in that storm. So, the way to approach our situation is simple if we use the analogy of being like a tree. If we establish very deep energetic roots into the reality that we want, and we establish those roots at a very deep, very strong and powerful level, we will not get knocked, knocked over by the coming chaos ahead. On the other hand, if we approach all of this at a very superficial level, a very shallow level, we're going to be in a lot of trouble as they proceed to go forward and unleash whatever new stuff they're going to unleash on us. And we'll find it very difficult to maintain ourselves, maintain our consciousness, our strength, our truth, who we are, and the reality that we want to experience going forward in this universe. So now is the time that we need to establish some very deep roots, just like a tree would need to have if a hurricane was coming. And we need to establish these deep roots spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today, exactly how to do that. Now, let's take a moment to look at this planet in a multidimensional way and not limit ourselves to just the third dimension of experience and reality. So if we look at the energy of the planet in a three-dimensional way, think of that energy as being like the soil, since we're using the analogy in nature with a tree and an oncoming hurricane. Well, here's the problem with the energy of the planet currently because of this attack on the planet and this attempt to take it over by these nefarious forces. If you think of the energy of this planet as being like the soil, you could say, gee, you know, this soil is pretty toxic. It's, it's actually poisonous. It's like a toxic poison energy. If we absorb that energy and that toxic poison into our energy field, we're kind of going to poison ourselves. We're going to weaken ourselves. 
we're going to weaken our consciousness. We're going to start getting very confused. So let's say that that is the energy. Again, this is a little bit odd because I'm not really talking on the usual plane of three dimensions, but let's take that energy and think of that as the soil on the surface. Now we need to go deeper interdimensionally into, um, how can I say this? A, a higher awareness or consciousness of a higher level of being. And we already have that built within us. It's not like we have to be taken up in a spaceship or some ascension thing has to happen before we can reach these higher dimensions. We have knowledge of all of it built within us. We just don't tap into that knowledge. We're too busy being overly consumed with this particular planet that we're on. But it is those higher dimensions, those higher realms that have the powerful life-giving energy that we need. Now, don't think of those higher realms as being out there somewhere because they're not. They're not, they're not in time and space as we know it. It's not like you can get on a spaceship and go there. It doesn't work like that. We have so much depth within us that we do not tap into because we're too preoccupied with the outer world. So I want to help you see for yourself that you can find a depth within you. You can find a truth within you that when you follow that truth, it will show you, it will guide you in bringing those roots of self, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual into some very deep life-giving energy. So this way, when these storms of crises and chaos come our way, we're going to have something much more substantial, much more powerful, and much more real that we can rely on. And we're going to be able to see that stuff much more easily for what it actually is. It's not the beginning and end of the whole universe. In other words, we will have perspective. We will have a touchstone that isn't that junk. We will have given ourselves a different reference point. And so much of this is about reference points, you guys. Because the media, and I include social media in this, they throw the craziest reference points at us. It is absolutely insane. And it's gotten to the point now where most of their reference points are made up fiction. They're not even real. There's no truth to most of what they say. So we must give ourselves an alternative that is real, that is substantial, that is something that is anchored in the truth and reality of the entire universe. Okay, so now let us talk about how we can take those four main areas of our lives physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and build deep roots of truth and light and love and power in all four of those areas. So if you want to have a, some kind of guidance about your direction in regards to those four areas, the best place to start is to think of being in alignment with your natural self, in alignment with your natural state of being. Let's start with our physical bodies. We do not give Im enough importance to our physical state. Our physical bodies are primary. They are the way that we even exist here. They are our vehicles of evolution. The sacred importance of our human bodies is profound. So the first thing to do is see if you can accept that for yourself. Stop judging your physical body and start instead taking good care of it. Now, I know this is going to sound like, yeah, yeah, we already know this, Saratoga. But guys, are you actually doing something about it? Our bodies really need three main things. And I know you all know what these are, but I'm going to say them anyway. Adequate sleep preferably in alignment with the sun and the movement of the earth around the sun. In other words, 
not staying up till 3 a.m. scrolling on your phone and then sleeping till 11 because you're so tired. That's not what your body needs. Our bodies need to be in alignment with the powerful activating energy of the sun on a daily basis. So the body needs adequate sleep in relationship to the, the, the Earth's movement with this, around the sun and its rotation in relationship to the sun. Secondly, our bodies need adequate nutrition. That's not really that hard. I think we all know what good food is. It's not processed, it's not junk, it's not fast food. We already know that. We don't need a whole dietary course to understand how simple the needs are of our bodies. And the third most important thing, I cannot overemphasize this enough, our physical bodies need to move. They're not meant to sit in a chair. They're not meant to sit in a car. They're not meant to be always hunched over a phone. They are so, our bodies are everything to us because they carry everything within them that we need in order to exist on this earth. So if you want to build deep roots, start with your physical body, take good care of it. If that sounds like too much or too hard, then I would suggest a mindset shift. Shift your mindset around your body. What is your mindset? Is it like, I don't really think about my body unless it hurts or unless I'm sick, I'm too busy, I have too much going on, I'm too stressed out, whatever it is. Is your body an afterthought unless it's screaming at you because it has pain or illness? Start by changing your mindset. So that's number one. Now let's talk about um, the mind. We have got to reclaim sovereignty over our minds. We have so many manipulative influences coming our way all day long. I don't even think we are fully aware of the kind of technology that is in use that is designed to manipulate us. One thing that's very weird, you guys, somehow we have been manipulated to see the whole world through a political lens. Everything is political now, isn't it? And everything is about taking one side or another side. So we're all in this, I'm going to call it a fake battle of politics. The truth is we're being manipulated by all sides. I've said this recently, right? We're being told this side is horrible, they're going to destroy the earth, and the other side saying the same thing. It's so weird when you think about it that both sides are accusing the other side of exactly the same thing. We don't even know what's true anymore, honestly. We just know what we're being told. And whatever it is, it is, but we cannot afford to have the entirety of planet earth seen through a political lens. We need to like shed that, just shed it because it's just ruining our minds. It's ruining our consciousness. And this is what I mean about how we can be so easily manipulated if we are not crystal clear within ourselves about who we are, why we're here, and exactly what it is we're trying to do as human creators. I think we're even being manipulated by international news. We're being manipulated by the news we are fed about other countries and what's going on there. It's just mass confusion, mass chaos, all designed to, well, I'm, I'm not gonna go into great detail here. I'll go off on a big tangent, but all designed to keep our minds under their control. So we are thinking the thoughts they want us to think, and thus, we are doing the actions they want us to take. And underlying all of this rhetoric, all of this manipulation, what is powering all of this manipulation? Fear. 
fear of everything. We're supposed to be terrified of everything and everyone and every single thing happening in the world. This is really insane. So I, I strongly encourage you, make sure you are taking time to yourself, preferably once a day at least, preferably in the morning when your mind is clear, when you can actually think straight and you haven't been bombarded with a bunch of messages from social media, from people you encounter, people you know, whatever the case. That's when your mind is the most clear. Practice thinking your own thoughts, feeling your own feelings, intuiting what you sense is correct and right and true. Now, before I go on, let me just say a little bit more about the body and the mind. The reason I said to give your body what it needs is so that your body can come into greater alignment with its most perfect design. The more that you support your body, your body wants to be in alignment. It wants to feel good. You will know that you're making progress when you start to feel better. And I think we can all feel better no matter what state we're in, right? And then secondly, the mind is very, very important because the thoughts you think send a frequency and vibration into every single one of your cells and affect your body's ability to align itself, to heal, to whatever. So own your thoughts. Now here's what you can do about your, your thinking mind. You do not have to entertain every single thought that enters your mind. You can actually pause and question that thought. Is that thought really true? Is that thought really important? Maybe it's not important. Maybe I don't need to be paying so much attention to that line of thinking. Try using your breathing, take some deep breaths, calm your nervous system down. In other words, there are so many thoughts flying around in the energy field of this planet, in the collective human mind, if you will, that we can be sent into a state of reactivity at the drop of a hat. So we need to practice helping our bodies to feel at peace, owning our thoughts, questioning thoughts that don't seem really aligned with who you really are, questioning thoughts that do not support you, empower you and help you feel better. And all of these efforts in all of these efforts, if you start to live this way more and more, you're going to start to build deeper roots of consciousness and energy into a truth that actually sustains and supports you and builds your strength. Now let's talk about emotions. And this is where you will see why owning your thoughts and curating the thoughts that you actually are willing to embrace is so important. It's because every thought you think will be followed by a corresponding feeling or emotion. And that corresponding feeling or emotion is going to resonate throughout all the cells of your physical body and drive your actions. So we, we need to own our thoughts, begin to tap into our higher level of intelligence so we can have higher level thoughts. Also consider what is the emotional state you want to strive for? We don't have to strive for always being happy and gleeful and joyful. We don't have to strive for any extremes like that. All we need to strive for is a sense of equilibrium, a sense of calm, a sense of calm emotions, mental clarity, and physical well-being. Those three things. We could put them in the order of mental clarity, calm emotions, and physical well-being. Think about that for a moment. What do you think happens when you accomplish that? And I'm not saying that that's a static state. You're going to get there and you're going to be there forever. 
I'm just saying that's your guidance. That's your guiding light. That's what you want to strive for. And of course, there are going to be ups and downs. But what do you think it does if you have a clear mind, calm emotions, and your physical well-being? When you have all of those three things in that state, you are in alignment. And when you're in alignment, guess what happens? Your energy can flow. Your energy can flow in such a way that it raises your vibration. You become more light, less dense, less heavy. You're not so reactive anymore and you feel much more stable. Now, before I get into the four things, spirituality, I wanna point something out about what I just said. Isn't it interesting that those three simple states, well, those three states are incredibly simple. In terms of an aim for ourselves as human creators, that's a very simple aim. Clarity of mind, calm emotions, and physical well-being. Allowing our energy to flow so that we can create and manifest the life that we wish to create and manifest. This is what we need to be striving for. Again, it's not, we're, not, we're not a machine that you just turn the dial and there you are forever. It's a journey. It's called a journey of evolution. And this is what we need to evolve into if we want to ascend into higher realms of consciousness and physicality at a different dimension. So let's talk about the final thing, which is spirituality. This can actually be looked at in a very simple way. Your spiritual state can fall into one of two categories. It can either be on the level of belief or it could be at the level of experience and connection to the divine. This is the problem I always have with religions. Religions are founded on a system of beliefs. You are required to believe what the religion tells you to believe. That makes the entire thing very mental, very superficial, and often quite fake and very fear-based because so many religions are based on a system of punishment and reward. You know, God's gonna punish you if you don't believe this and if you don't do these things and God will reward you if you do believe this and do do these things. And then the religions love to fight with each other, don't they? Religions are notorious for killing the unbelievers. This is how you can tell they're incredibly shallow and superficial at, at, at a base level. There's a lot of complexity on the surface, but at a base level, they really don't have any answers, you guys. They don't. You know how you can tell? Because historically, their answer is always eliminate the unbelievers because we don't really know what we're doing. We don't really know what we're talking about. Evolution, that's none of our business. We don't even know what that means. So how do we just... How do we get rid of these unbelievers? Because they, if they won't believe us, then maybe we should just get rid of them. Maybe we should just kill them, right? And that's why you've had so many religious wars. And they go on to this very day. So no, I would not suggest that a religion that has a need to punish unbelievers, whether it's by death or whether it's by some other false belief system or something, I would suggest that that's a religion that doesn't really have the answers. And then we have, of course, the New Age religion, which is now, I guess, being referred to as the spiritual community, maybe, I don't know. Um, let's just call it New Age. New Age religion is more about being rewarded if you do the right things, you're gonna to get to go ascend, you're gonna to get to go to a higher dimension just by doing certain things and believing certain things. And if you don't, you'll get left behind and you'll be experiencing a living hell here on earth. Well, it's the same program of a religion, it's just a different costume, if you know what I mean. So my point in all of this is if your spirituality is founded on beliefs of any kind, and that's as far as it goes, just what you believe in, what you believe because someone said something that sounded good to you, 
that's very superficial. And I am going to predict that all of these spiritual beliefs are going to be wiped out. I'm going to predict that there will come a time, there will come a point where they will just all disappear because they will no longer be a part of the agenda on this planet. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. What I'm saying is that all of that stuff, all of those beliefs are destined to be replaced by AI and total absolute mind control where religion is no longer needed. And the only thing you will need to worship is AI, the AI God. So that's where I think religion is going. All these religions, all of them are probably going to find themselves in the dustbin of history at some point in time after they have outlived their former usefulness. Now I will say just to add on before I move on, I think there has been a certain benefit to religions in that they do contribute something culturally. They do create, help create a coherency in certain aspects of civilization. So in that regard, they do have a positive benefit. So I don't want to say that they're a hundred percent bad, but I think it would be nice if we did not put all of our eggs in that basket, so to speak. And the other thing too is that religious beliefs can be easily blown up by events that unfold on planet earth. They just won't hold together after a certain point. And for a lot of people, I think they're not holding together at this point. So if we can't rely on religious and spiritual beliefs, what, what can we rely on? We can rely on the fact that we have a built in connection to the divine to the universe, to the creator of all that is, to God, to source, whatever you want to call it. It's so easy to prove this to yourself. Let me show you how easy this really is. Did you create yourself? Probably not. What is keeping you alive right now? You're watching this video, you're breathing, you're listening, you're looking, you're experiencing the world through all of your senses. When you're in your body, assuming you don't have something wrong with your legs, you can stand up. Isn't it amazing that you don't fall over? Isn't it amazing that you can move around without even thinking about it? There's a presence, there's an energy within you. There is something in you that is keeping you alive. There's something inside of you that is breathing you. You don't have to remember to breathe. You are so connected to nature that even if you wanted to stay awake for 24 hours, you wouldn't be able to. Because at some point that sun's going to go down and you are going to go to sleep. So there's so much evidence. It's all around us of the creator itself. There's evidence everywhere. When you plant a seed and that seed grows into so many things, it can be a seed of all kinds of flowers, of trees, of plants. It just, how does that happen? How, it, how can you put a seed in the ground? It just looks like this little brown thing. Next thing you know, you have a beautiful flower. What is the, what is the energy that's making that happen? What is the energy that turns us from a tiny cell into a fully fledged human being? There's no religion that can do that, but there is a creator. There is something very real that is doing that. So for us to think that God is out there and we're here in this land of oblivion is not really true. It's all around us. It's within us. So I encourage you to get in touch with that reality that is so blatant when you really pay attention. Then you're going to be anchored in something that is far beyond mere circumstances unfolding on this planet Earth. Okay, so just to recap all of this, we can look ahead into 2024, 2025.
we can see the hurricane coming. We can see the storm on the horizon. It doesn't take a genius to understand that the clouds are already here without going into any detail in various parts of the world. And because we're human creators, we have a lot of power. So what we can do is consider everything that I've suggested here. Keep it really simple. Think about where do you want to be anchored in your life, in this universe. We do not want to attempt to anchor ourselves in this world of chaos that these controllers are unleashing upon our planet. That's not the place to anchor yourself. The place to anchor yourself is interdimensionally in alignment with your natural state of being as a human creator. And that's basically what I've shared with you guys here today. And yes, this will require your attention. It will require um, probably a mindset shift, a mindset shift from waiting around to see what happens and hoping for the best into taking command of your own self and your existence in the universe and living from a place of sovereignty. So I hope you have found this video helpful. I hope I've given you some useful suggestions of things that you can try in order to prepare yourself for what could be and probably is coming in one form or another. And also before I go, I just wanna remind you check out this quantum frequency device. I am going to put a link in the description and I may just post one in a comment and pin it because a lot of people tell me, I don't see your links in the description, Saratoga. So I think it, I don't know if it has to do with the phone you have or what it is, but I'll, I'll put it in two places. And yeah, with that, I'm wishing you all a beautiful day, a beautiful night, wherever you are in the world. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with anyone else you know who would like some support and some help in this ongoing journey that we are experiencing here on planet Earth. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am here on Tuesdays with all new videos. And with that, I'm sending you so much love, light, and high vibrational energy. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Namaste.